I just want to touch on the different major styles of frame tents. I've been getting asked like where to buy frame tents and stuff. And uh, I just want to make it clear like the main three styles of commercial frame tents. There's other styles of frame tents, non-commercial that are still considered frame. And then there's a few others, but these are the three main ones. They're called West Coast, uh, High Peak. That's the term I know. It might be called something different and uh, Keter, K-E-D-E-R. Now, uh, West Coast, the entire frame goes up to a central point, whether that's like say a 20 by 20, it'll all go up and look like a pyramid, or if it's say 20 by 30, the two ends will come up and then there'll be cross beams across to make the 30, 40, you know, just keep expanding it. Uh, the West Coast, the entire frame is set up on the ground. The tent is then dragged over. Now, if it's a one piece top, that's easy. But if it's an expandable, then you gotta lace them together on the ground and then drag it over. So that's a West Coast style. That's like the old school OG original. Um, I do not like West Coast because I do not like dragging that uh, tent top over it gets scratched it gets damaged. It's kind of hard to do it gets caught on the frame It sucks for me personally. I did buy a used 30 by 30 when I first started It was a West Coast. It was actually two pieces But we just kept it together as one because that's how I bought it And you had to drag it over and you had to do like a tug of war to get it over the peak and it just wasn't fun I hated it and I hated putting all the center pieces into the top um, center fitting uh, the next style is called uh, high peak. It's a frame with a false center pole. I say false because the center pole sits on two cables. It doesn't go all the way to the ground. So you do this by setting it up on the ground, putting the top on, then putting in two legs, and then sliding in the cable. And the last one is called Keter. It's set up like any other frame tent. It's got a frame structure, but the vinyl goes through these C channels and it just gets pulled through. I think this is the easiest one, especially for big tents. It is way easier than West Coast. And you can't really do big tents in the high peak style. There's only so much you can do with that. So big tents, it's easiest with the Keter. Now, uh, most of that footage was not mine. That was mostly from Aztec Tents, who I buy tents from. So if they wanna copyright me, they can, but I really don't think they will because uh, this might make people buy some Aztec Tents. Um, but yeah, those are the three main styles of tents. Then beyond that, there's structures, which are like really heavy duty, meant to stay up for a long time or handle large wind loads. Um, those are also Keter because uh, it's just way easier to slide the vinyl through on a huge structure. Um, those, those are the three style tents. West Coast, High Peak, and Keter. If you got any questions, leave a comment. It has gotten kind of crazy. I'm like over 600 people. So if I can't get to the comment, I apologize. There's like a lot of comments now. Um, but I do have that Patreon for three bucks and 12 bucks a month um, to act as like professional consultant and I will answer every message on there anyways thanks for watching